Trophy hunting is not a necessary evil for conservation and development. Trophy hunting is an evil practice done by bloodthirsty rich individuals. My name is Boniface Olempario, I'm a Maasai senior elder and a safari guide. I support the ban on trophy hunting because it doesn't support communities, it harms them and it harms the wildlife. If it was true that hunting contributed to conservation, why then over the past 40 years has there been a 70% decline in wildlife species? Whereas in Botswana, when we got rid of hunting, and introduced photographic tourism, we saw an increase in the populations of our wildlife. So saying hunting uh, contributes to conservation is like saying that a dictatorship promotes democracy or robbing banks is saving money. It's just ridiculous. Good governance is about uh, the allocation of resources in a way that ultimately benefits citizens. Because trophy hunting targets prime males, uh, especially if you look at uh, elephants and big cats, uh, the lack of governance means that you destroy the ability of those populations to uh, regenerate themselves. Uh, and that essentially destroys the ecosystem, which destroys the country's ability to earn ecotourism revenue. If you go and kill a lion, for example, it's just a source of revenue for the hunt to operator or the person who leads the hunt. They get paid and then that's it, gone. So I don't really see the argument that hunting benefits conservation or help local communities. The amount that is generated from trophy hunting, it's a pittance. It's not something that can really fund um, a robust uh, project of conservation. This is what I heard from most of the Maasai. It reduces the number of animals. It takes out the strongest out of the gene pool. The hunting concessions are literally running out of game to kill. So they have to displace people who are living harmoniously with wildlife so that they can go and kill those animals as well. When you see this ex the extent to which animals are in decline, eventually these hunters, once they have rid us of our wildlife, those communities will have nothing, nothing for hunting, nothing for wildlife uh, photographic tourism, nothing at all. So when someone comes and kills them, I, we feel like they are killing our animals, our own so it, it, we don't view it as a good thing. When the trophy hunting started, the people killed these animals to sell the ivory. So it was not there before, so it is a colonial thing. It came during the colonial time. Trophy hunting have an effect, a very negative effect to the communities. One, we lose our animals. Two, Nothing that is generated from these animals or the, these trophies comes to the community. It, it ends up with the one who sells these trophies. We should not kill our animals in order to conserve them. We believe trophy hunting is very cruel, it's very archaic, it causes distress to animals, especially elephants, they live as families. So if you take down, say, the matriarch or the patriarch of that family, the remaining elephants um, will be distressed for a very long period of time. And the other challenge is that when you take down an elephant from its head, uh, you have triggered 
a conflict between the surviving members of that family and the neighboring community. We are experiencing a rise in human wildlife conflict. There is an alternative. You don't have to kill them. There is photographic tourism, which happens in my country, Kenya, where hunting was banned in 1977. The revenue that is coming in from photographic tourism is more than you will get by killing these animals. My view is that for as long as trophy hunting exists, it literally gets in the way of and crowds out alternative options. Uh, and it also sets up a false dichotomy. It says, well, unless you have trophy hunting, uh, then you know this land is going to be turned over to uh, destructive agriculture. But adventure tourism, for instance, as part of a, uh, an economic model, that could work really well. But the, the ethics associated with any kind of tourism uh, are incompatible with uh, trophy hunting taking place in the same concession. But if you have a combination of research and adventure tourism, for instance, then you can really start to uh, economically justify the preservation of those remote areas. Community development is so much better in places where there is no hunting. And if those who don't believe us or believe me, book a safari, go to the Masai Mara and visit places or community projects which are supported by the companies that do photographic tourism. See for yourself how the year-round income from photographic tourism has generated employment and created some of the places where I worked. We know what is best for us on this continent. I, I can say that for over 20 years, it is proven in our country, in Botswana, that uh, photographic tourism contributes much more to conservation of the species and even for uh, revenues that accrue to the country and the benefits for the communities. People should come, visit our country, see the beauty of wildlife and, and take pictures that wildlife can be of more benefit and of long-term benefit if they conserve it more than if they, they continue trophy hunting which is going to deplete these animals.